Many believe that humanity is destined to remain within the confines of the solar system forever. The barrier of distance seems insurmountable, and even the boldest technologies appear powerless in the face of the vastness of space. But what if that's not the case? What if right now, a method is being developed that could shorten the journey to the nearest stars to the span of a human lifetime? There's an idea that breaks all conventional notions of space travel. It doesn't rely on chemical fuel, doesn't require enormous energy reserves, and isn't confined to tiny probes. This is an entirely new method of propulsion, one that uses the laws of physics in a way no one has ever attempted before. If it works, humanity could be the first to send a spacecraft on an interstellar journey, not in the distant future, but right now. How is this possible? Who is behind this project? And what stands in the way of it becoming a reality? Answers to these questions could change everything we know about the limits of what's possible. If you're interested in learning more, support this material with a like and a subscription. Perhaps the dawn of a new era in space exploration begins right now. The dream of interstellar travel, which has captivated the minds of writers and scientists for centuries, now seems closer to reality than ever before. However, there is one fundamental limitation the vast distances between stars. Even the most advanced chemical rockets are simply incapable of accelerating a spacecraft to the speeds required to reach the nearest star systems within a reasonable time frame. It appears that we have hit a ceiling in terms of possibilities, but as is often the case in science, the solution may lie in an unconventional approach. Researchers from Electric Sky, Inc. and Los Alamos National Laboratory have proposed a fundamentally new method for traveling through interstellar space. Instead of storing energy on board the spacecraft, they suggest transmitting it using relativistic electron beams. Jeff Grissom, chief technologist at Electric Sky and chairman of the Tau Zero Foundation, together with physicist Gerrit Bruhog, described this approach. Their idea is to use electron beams, accelerated nearly to the speed of light, to impart enough kinetic energy to the spacecraft. Previously, laser sails were proposed for interstellar travel, but this method has significant limitations. Laser beams scatter over large distances, and the power required to sustain them is enormous. Unlike photons, electrons have mass, which allows for the transmission of much more energy. However, another problem arises. Like-charged particles repel each other, causing the beam to scatter quickly. This drawback would seemingly rule out the technology, but fundamental physics comes to the rescue. Space is far from empty. It is filled with sparse plasma. As the electron beam passes through it, it repels the lighter electrons, leaving the heavier ions behind. As a result, a magnetic field is generated that compresses the beam, preventing it from scattering. This effect, known as relativistic compression, allows the beam to remain stable over enormous distances. Scientists have calculated that, under the right conditions, such a system could accelerate a probe weighing 1,000 kilograms, similar to Voyager 1, to 10% of the speed of light. This means that instead of the 70,000 years it would take for current spacecraft to reach Alpha Centauri, the journey could take just 40 years. To make this project a reality, Scientists propose placing the electron beam generator near the sun, where it could harness energy from the star. However, this raises a number of complex questions. How would the sun's magnetic field affect the stability of the beam? How could it be precisely aimed at a moving spacecraft? And finally, how could the energy of the beam be converted into propulsion without overheating the spacecraft? These questions require serious research, but if the technology proves feasible, it could revolutionize star exploration. Electron beams offer 10,000 times greater energy transmission range than lasers and can also propel heavier spacecraft. This opens the door not only to scout probes, but also to full-fledged scientific missions with research equipment. Perhaps relativistic beams will become the star express that helps humanity overcome the boundaries of the solar system. For now, it is only a theory but the history of science shows that the boldest ideas often become reality when pursued by determined minds. What technological advancements from the Breakthrough Starshot project might influence the future development of space missions? The Breakthrough Starshot project is being developed as part of the Breakthrough Initiatives and aims to create interstellar probes that utilize light sails. The primary concept 
is to launch a large number of miniature devices, each weighing only one gram and equipped with an ultralight solar sail measuring four by four meters. These probes are expected to be accelerated using a powerful laser system located on Earth. The laser beam, focused on the sail, should provide an acceleration of about 30,000 g, allowing the probes to reach 20% of the speed of light. This approach would enable the probes to reach Alpha Centauri in just 20 years, with data transmission back to Earth five years later. A key feature of the project is its dual purpose, not only sending probes to the nearest star, but also demonstrating the feasibility of a technology that could be applied to other tasks in the future. For example, the same laser system used to accelerate the nanosatellites could be used for other space missions, as well as asteroid deflection. The design of the microprobes must take into account numerous challenges. Extreme acceleration forces, exposure to interstellar dust, radiation, and harsh temperature conditions. Each probe is expected to be equipped with a miniature camera, communication system, and orientation elements. Radioisotope power sources or alternative compact energy solutions may be used for power. To receive transmitted data, the sail itself is expected to be used as a Fresnel lens, amplifying the signal. This will allow information to be transmitted back to Earth, even with a transmitter power of just one watt. Thus, the project not only paves the way for studying exoplanets, but could also contribute to the development of laser technologies for long-distance space travel. Despite its ambitious nature, the project faces many technical challenges. The laser system must generate radiation with a power output of 50 to 100 gigawatts and ensure extremely precise focusing, while the sail material must withstand enormous stresses. Additionally, Navigation and trajectory correction in interstellar space must be resolved and the impact of dust particles must be minimized. However, if these challenges are overcome, breakthrough Starshot will become humanity's first real step toward interstellar travel. The space sail being developed has several advantages. It operates based on solar pressure or directed laser radiation, creating thrust for movement. In this version, the efficiency of accelerating light devices has been improved thanks to the enhanced sail design and a more accurate orientation system. How might the Parker Solar Probe affect future interstellar travel projects, particularly in terms of protecting spacecraft from solar radiation? Which technologies developed for the Large Hadron Collider could be adapted for interstellar travel research, and what discoveries could they yield? Existing developments such as the Parker Solar Probe and particle accelerators like the Large Hadron Collider provide the foundation for the realization of various projects. The Parker Solar Probe, launched on August 12, 2018 from Cape Canaveral, marks a significant step in the study of the outer corona of the Sun. This NASA spacecraft, named after astrophysicist Eugene Parker, who predicted the existence of solar wind in 1958, is focused on studying solar radiation and solar wind at unprecedentedly close distances from the Sun. Specifically, on December 24, 2024, it will approach the Sun at a record-breaking distance of 6.1 million kilometers. As of 2025, this probe is the fastest man-made object, reaching speeds of up to 692,000 kilometers per H, which is 0.064% of the speed of light. The Parker Project is a continuation of NASA's initiative to create spacecraft capable of approaching the Sun's surface to within 10 radii of the solar disk. It was made possible through the scientific coordination of the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory in Maryland. The project cost $1.5 billion. At the same time, the Large Hadron Collider (LHC), located at CERN on the border between Switzerland and France, is the world's largest experimental facility designed to accelerate protons and heavy ions, as well as to study the products of their collisions. The LHC was designed to accelerate hadrons to energies that allow for the study of elementary particle interactions at a fundamental level. The accelerator ring is 26.6 kilometers in length, and the total energy of proton collisions reaches a record-breaking 13 TeV in the center of mass system. The project involves over 10,000 scientists and engineers from more than 100 countries. The LHC has provided new data that led to significant discoveries, including the discovery of the Higgs boson. Both of these projects, 
The Parker Solar Probe and the Large Hadron Collider serve as examples of how modern scientific advancements greatly expand our understanding of space and the fundamental laws of nature. What new discoveries could be made by using AI to analyze data from space telescopes, and how might this impact our understanding of life beyond Earth? How can AI assist in preparing for future interstellar missions, particularly in areas such as long-term travel management and the self-repair of equipment in the conditions of interstellar space? In recent years, artificial intelligence, AI, has become a key tool in space exploration. It has significantly improved the efficiency of space research, from autonomous management of space missions to the analysis of astronomical data. AI helps researchers solve problems that were previously complex or impossible for humans to address. Spacecraft are now capable of operating autonomously, making decisions without direct intervention from Earth-based experts, which is especially important in conditions where communication delays with Earth can last minutes or hours. Autonomous space missions, which use AI to control spacecraft and perform scientific research, are becoming an integral part of space exploration. For instance, such missions allow automated decisions to be made regarding flight trajectories and spacecraft maneuvers, as well as avoiding collisions with space debris. A prominent example of AI usage is the Perseverance rover, which not only explores the surface of Mars, but also autonomously selects and collects samples, conducting preliminary data analysis. AI algorithms process the obtained data on board the spacecraft, significantly accelerating the process and allowing scientists to make decisions almost in real time. AI also plays an important role in emergency situations. Satellites and rovers equipped with AI systems can autonomously diagnose faults and take corrective measures, which is critical for the successful completion of long-term missions. In the future, AI will be able to control spacecraft that can explore more distant and less studied areas of the solar system, such as the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, and carry out complex operations on other planets, such as construction or preparation for colonization. One of the most promising areas of AI usage is the analysis of astronomical data. Deep learning algorithms can recognize and classify astronomical objects such as stars, galaxies and planets, significantly speeding up the process of analyzing images obtained from telescopes. AI is also used to analyze spectral data, helping scientists study the chemical composition and physical characteristics of distant objects. With AI, astronomers can discover exoplanets by analyzing changes in starlight and also study the atmospheric conditions of these planets, which helps determine their habitability. Additionally, AI assists in exploring complex cosmic phenomena like black holes and neutron stars, revealing new aspects of their nature. The potential for AI use in space research is incredibly vast. In the future, AI will play a crucial role in interstellar missions, as well as in automated construction and preparation for the colonization of other planets. It may also become the primary tool for conducting comprehensive studies and multidisciplinary analysis of cosmic phenomena, opening up new opportunities for scientific discoveries. But what if, for interstellar travel, we used not artificially created objects, but natural cosmic ones. Perhaps this is the method already employed by extraterrestrial civilizations. Currently, humanity's technological advancements do not allow for interstellar travel. People have not yet visited Mars, let alone more distant worlds. However, there may come a time when humanity will be forced to seek a new home. Irina Romanovskaya, a physics and astronomy instructor at Houston Community College, proposes in her scientific article that humanity may need to leave the solar system when the sun becomes a red giant, threatening the destruction of Earth. But what if extraterrestrial civilizations have already faced a similar problem on their home planet and found an unconventional way of traveling? Romanovskaya suggests that interstellar travel might not require a spaceship at all. Instead, civilizations could utilize services of free-floating planets, or rogue planets, also known as orphans or wanderers. Perhaps this is how extraterrestrial beings travel or have traveled. Even if such a planet is uninhabitable, the level of technology of an alien civilization may allow for the creation of comfortable living conditions. Of course, it would be preferable for the planet to be naturally habitable. 
Rogue planets, also known as free-floating planets, are objects that are not gravitationally bound to any star. They move freely through space, possibly having been ejected from their native star systems or formed in a manner similar to stars. Such objects could become an intriguing tool for interstellar travel, as Romanovskaya proposes, offering four possible scenarios for using rogue planets as vehicles for extraterrestrial life. In the first scenario, an alien civilization might use a rogue planet that has passed close to their native star. According to Romanovskaya, rogue planets could enter regions similar to our Oort cloud, the spherical shell surrounding the solar system. These objects might be directed toward the star systems of extraterrestrial civilizations, providing the possibility of using them for travel. Even if the planets are far away, a more advanced civilization might use its technology to detect and utilize such objects. It is possible that free-floating planets have already passed close to our solar system in the past, or might do so in the future. The second scenario suggests that an alien civilization could use its technology to direct a rogue planet toward its star system. If the planet is uninhabitable, it could undergo terraforming, a process that could alter its atmospheric conditions and make it suitable for life. This opens the possibility of using such planets as vehicles for travel between star systems, even if they are not initially habitable. The third scenario involves objects located on the outer orbit of a star system. For example, in our system, the dwarf planet Sedna has an elongated orbit, with its distance from the Sun ranging from 76 to 937 astronomical units. With the appropriate technology and preparation time, such a planet could be used as a sort of rescue ship for societies from other planets, traveling large distances, either orbiting or even passing through star systems. The fourth scenario proposed by Romanovskaya is that an extraterrestrial culture could predict this process and prepare rogue planets for use as vehicles, moving them out of dying star systems. This would allow for the use of such objects for interstellar travel when their native star becomes hazardous to the planets in its system. Although all of the proposed scenarios suggest using rogue planets exclusively as vehicles, Romanovskaya notes that such objects could be used not only for the salvation of a civilization. They could serve as interstellar ships for exploring and colonizing other planets. In this case, if such travels indeed take place, extraterrestrial beings may leave traces of their technologies in the form of techno-signatures or other artifacts that would be discovered on rogue planets. The ideas proposed by scientists and researchers open up incredible possibilities for humanity's future in space. Dreams of interstellar travel, once thought impossible, are becoming a reality thanks to innovative technologies and bold scientific approaches. Our knowledge of the universe and its laws is rapidly expanding, and developments in space travel, artificial intelligence, and new energy sources promise to drastically change our lives. We will have to overcome numerous challenges, from creating sustainable ecosystems on other planets to solving the most complex issues related to transportation over vast distances. Yet each step in this direction brings us closer to monumental goals and opens new horizons for humanity. This path will require not only science and technology, but also immense willpower, courage and unity. Subscribe to the channel, stay updated, and keep up with the latest discoveries in the world of science and technology, because the future is already here and it promises to be amazing.